Are you feeling lonely today? Maybe every day. Everyone experiences loneliness in life. However, some experience a deeper loneliness, leaving some feeling not just empty and depressed, but numb. Though you may not see it or believe it, there is hope. That hope begins with a relationship with Jesus Christ who loves you more than you can comprehend. Having a relationship with Jesus is the most meaningful relationship you could ever have. If you have tried many different things, various ways to connect with others, but have not had any success, then why not accept an invitation to have Jesus in your life? How do you accept this invitation? Like any other invitation, we need to know the host, the reason for the invite and give an RSVP. God, Father of all creation, has given the invitation to know Jesus. Why? So that we can be forgiven, have a reconciled relationship with Him, and live eternally, a precious gift. Forgiven for what? Reconciled? Have you ever used God's name as a curse word? How many lies have you told? Do you honor your father and mother? Have you ever stolen something? Big or small? What about coveting what others have? such as wealth, material things, power, fame, even someone who doesn't belong to you. Truth is, we've all broken God's laws and are therefore sinners. It is our sin that separates us from God. So, God sent his son, Jesus, to die for our sins that we can never atone for ourselves. Jesus died for the sins of the world and was resurrected. His blood alone atoned for our sins. This brought forth forgiveness of sins, reconciliation, and eternal life, a precious gift. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. John 3 verses 16 to 17. A long time ago, Jesus had a conversation with a woman named Martha. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. John 11 verses 25 to 27. Another time, Jesus said to a man named Thomas, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14 verse 6. If you understand that you are an unforgiven sinner, and you are ready to believe that Jesus, the Son of God, died for our sins and was resurrected and that his blood alone can remove all of your sins, then consider accepting the invitation. How? With a sincere heart, confess to God that you are a sinner, asking him for forgiveness. Then profess that you believe in Jesus and accept him as your Lord and Savior. 
If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 verse 9 That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with your heart you believe and are justified, and with your mouth you confess and are saved. Romans 10 verses 9 to 10 If you have chosen to accept this invitation, then you are saved from eternal darkness and ready to embark on a growing relationship with Christ. However, if you are not ready to believe, because you have questions or just want someone to pray for you, to listen, then take a look at the links below. Select the best option for you.